everybody. I hope you guys are doing well and having an amazing Saturday. Um, the weather is so amazing. I hope you guys have had a chance to step out and uh, enjoy it. So today um, I'm just jumping on for, it's gonna be a quick project. I'm using our um, board and pillar for this project and my happiness blooms transfer it's from the flower market collection so i thought i'd jump on and do a quick a quick um diy today so this transfer has been used many 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 times so i'm not even gonna bother fuzzing it so what fuzzing would do um, it would take some of the stickiness off the back so it is easier to lift up from your surface whatever surface that is but because it's um, been used so many times um, I'm not gonna bother to fuzz it I'm just gonna use my squeegee and take out my air bubbles. And the board and pillar here, this is reusable. Hi, Charlie. This is a reusable board. All you have to do is, if you want, you want to change up your design, all you have to do is spritz it with some. Um, distilled water, let it sit for a few seconds and rub it off. So I think I might do the whole thing in white and then add the different flowers. So I'm going to give this a quick mix. And you want to have like, um, I guess like a sour cream, a sour cream um, consistency. Okay, so you can see when it falls nicely off of the stir stick. Hi Nadia, how are you? So I'm gonna put some on. I'm right near the end of the my white paste, so I'm gonna lift it up to hold it. Up. So I'm gonna do the whole thing in white. So all you wanna do, I'll move this out of the way so hopefully you guys can see this. You're gonna swipe down. you want to put a little bit of pressure because you want to make sure that the paste does go through the screening okay now I'm going to take off the excess so um, I've had a few requests I've got a few messages today from some of you um, that have been requesting to learn a little bit more about the business. Um, so I thought I'd, when I come on today, I thought it would be a great opportunity to share it. So I just wanted to let you know that um, to become a uh, independent designer, we are open in Canada and the US only for now. So when you're lifting it up, you're gonna lift it up straight up to the sky. Right, so we're open um, in Canada and the US right now so we're expanding very very quickly so I just um, I'll just show you this real quick so there it is it's backwards I can't figure out how to change it so you guys can see it correctly so when you register as a designer, automatically you get 40% off of retail price on all your, all your purchases. 
So when you order your stock or the items that you want, you get the 40% off. And when you first register your business, you will get an extra 15%. So that's a total, that's a total of um, 55%, which is unheard of in any other um, company that I know of. So after that, you'll get all your 40% your off of that. So there's many different ways to run the business. You can host, I'm just gonna do the flowers now. You can host um, your, um, oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. You can host workshops, classes. You can have people host them for you and you can offer them, you can offer them hostess, hostess gifts. That's totally up to you how you want to um, run that part of your business. You can um, make your finished products, you can sell them you can join vendor shows and you know sell all your finished product there you can um and if you decide you want to run with the business you can definitely build a team and that's where you will get your commission your team commissions so one of my uplines was a, it was, I say was because she's now retired doing, uh, running her chocolate tour business full time. She was a teacher. Uh, I think she, I think it was a grade eight teacher. She was a grade eight teacher and with a master's and she retired probably about, I think it was two months ago. And she is now doing chocolate tour full time. And she is making more, believe it or not, doing her crafting business than she was working as a teacher with a master's. So it, it goes to show you the, the possibilities are um, definitely there. And also, I'm just going to do my leaf now. So, and also I have another, um, another designer who had her own business. She was a photographer for the local um, schools in her area. I'm just going to give this a try. So, she lost, she lost her job. She's in Cleveland. She lost her job and um decided to start making farmhouse signs out of her garage so when she saw the the product she thought it was you know it's easier to make her signs with with this with the transfers because the reusable one you save money you're not throwing out all of your um vinyl and your transfer tape and all that. I was an avid uh, Cricut, and don't get me wrong, I still use some my Cricut for some of my projects, but the majority is with my silk screen transfers because they're reusable. I can whip out so many and uh, not have to worry about wasting my money with my vinyl. So anyway, she lost her business, so she started, make, she ran, she came across um our transfers and she started using that for a business not wanting to do it as a business or build a team or anything like that but then it kind of just happened where she started to build her team she saw there was a lot of interest out there so she started to build her team and now she is an executive couturier and she is making i mean i can't tell you exact but i will tell you that she is making just over twenty thousand dollars a month US with um, truck couture so it just it shows you how lucrative this business is and even if you're just a crafter which is fine because why wouldn't you want to get 40% off of 
your um, your products. Where's my other flower? That alone is a great um, incentive to start your business. So I'm just gonna finish up here. Okay, so these, after you're done with the transfers, you just throw them in a water bath and give them a little scrub and you're good to go. And if I should put this flower at the bottom here. I'm gonna use my mini squeegee for this. This is um, sage that I'm using. This is one of my favorite colors. And I'll put one here. I'll hold this up when uh, when I'm done. So if for whatever reason you make a mistake, you don't like the way your design looks, you can definitely change it up. You can um, change it up. You can wash it off and do it over. That's what the great thing about um, our paste is that it's water soluble. And if you're not crazy about the design or the color combinations, for whatever reason, all you have to do is wipe it off. That's it. Okay, I'm just going to put these aside. Close these up. Really wish I had a sink in my craft room. That would be awesome. And that's it. So I'm going to give you a quick glance at this. There you go. Okay, and this one fits right on the pillar and there's a little screw at the back that you can just tighten it up. There you go. So there's a quick, easy decor that you can change up. Anyway, thanks so much for joining. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday. If you have any questions regarding um, registering as a uh, register, uh, registering as an independent designer, please don't hesitate to contact me. Or if you have any questions about my products, I would love to answer them for you. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your night.